You can no, 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 no. Uh, oh, what? What? What is happening? Oh, man. Pie Wire. So good to see you. Yay. Good to be here. We've been here for. We came with. We came, we're, we're that like extra stuff that came under the couch. You know, you're like, find like a bunch of quarters and you're like, I can finally call my mom again at a payphone. <laughs> I lost my cell phone somewhere in who knows in the couch your old house in the couch oh I found the phone never mind don't need the payphone vending machine let's do this <laughs> thank you thank you uh we are so ready to pro- prove our prov and yeah we just need to suggest whether it's audible or whether it's typed out I am I'm again gonna go to the high wire deck here and I'm having oh, yes. fun. I'm having fun. I don't know if it'll show up. I'm, ha- uh, I'm having f- I'm having fun pulling two words from different parts of the card. Okay. And so your your suggestion is strange classroom. Strange, strange classroom. Yeah. Okay. Strange classroom. That's a good one. Uh, thank you. Okay. Thank Okay. Attention all students, please be aware there will be a locker inspection at noon or fifth period if you don't tell time. Thank you. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm always, I'm a good kid, you know, I'm always keeping it clean in my locker and you know, don't keep anything suspicious in there. So I'm Perfectly yeah. fine with this surprise ex- uh, inspection. Well, what about the what about the marijuana? But Jerry, you told me you got rid of that. Wait, no, I didn't. Hold on, <laughs> I'm so sorry. You, you kept it here. I did. Well, because I wasn't. What I was going to take it home. Like that's crazy. Well, I can't have it. You gotta. No, I'm not going to jail. (laughs) Look, I let you, you said you only needed it, keep it here for a day. All right. I let you use my locker because, you know, nobody would suspect me. But yeah. Attention, attention, students. Locker inspection will begin very shortly. Please be on (laughs) alert. We will be suspending and expelling all students caught with illegal contraband, illegal drugs. (laughs) We may give some consideration for recreational and medicinal if you can prove that you have a problem. Prove it. Okay, that's all right. Our... Okay, all right, Jerry. What's up? You know, since you're you're leaving me on the lurch by making me keep the marijuana in my locker, you have to help me with a cover story. Okay. Um, you... I have a special disease that only marijuana can treat. Yeah, that's a real thing. Yeah. Yeah, just say you have asthma or something. Yeah, asthma. I need to smoke marijuana. Yeah. With, for my asthma. I think I think that'll <laughs> locker inspection. Ah! <laughs> Jerry, I. Alrighty. Hey. You have anything I should have that you shouldn't have? Anything that you have that you shouldn't have, you should give to me. Look! Yeah. Look! Look, Officer Thornberry, I'm going to just come out and say it, all right? I'm a good kid. I'm the most honest kid in this school. So uh, I do have some marijuana in my locker. Ah! No, but but, it. but it's... I got to get it's the gloves. Let me get the it's medicinal. gloves. It's medicinal. Oh, it's medicinal, huh? Yeah. You sure about that? I'm Did sure. It say, Did it say it was medicinal on the label? Well, no, it just says Ziploc on the label. You have it in a Ziploc? Yeah. That's what I do. Give it here. Just hand it over. Here you go. Thank you. All right. Oh! Oh! Yeah. I see that it's uh, empty. How how convenient for you. I don't know how that... Hold on. Oh, let me 
Let me just get this open. Maybe, I guess, you know, when I said I had marijuana in the locker, I meant I didn't have marijuana in my locker. I'm sorry. Sorry to get your hopes up. I've almost almost got it. I just have to. I know how much you like busting kids and. I do. You just need a better grip on it, Professor Thornberry. Uh, It's officer. I am not smart enough to be a professor just yet, but I appreciate the patronizing. Professor Thornberry is his father. Talk to my father. Um, So, wait, I can smell it through the bag. I'll just smell it through the bag. (laughs) There probably was marijuana in here. Yeah, there. Probably. I mean, but you know, there is it now, so it's gone. So, you know, I think. So where is it? Just hand it over and locker inspection will be all done. Well, if it's not in the locker. It's not really any of your problem, is it? I'm sorry I mouthed off to you, Officer Thornberry. It's just, you know, there are of your rules. name again because I'm terrible with kids' names here. I just call Jerry. you kid. It's Jerry. It's Jerry. Thank you. What? Thank you. <laughs> You're Jerry. Thank you, accountability, buddy. So, Jerry, I think because we have missing evidence, but clearly you've confessed. Missing evidence, clear confession. Um, I think you know where you have to go to. <laughs> Don't make me say it. You say it. Where are we going to go to? Where are we going to report? Where are we going to turn ourselves into? Uh, the principal... Excellent. Good. That's exactly where I was going to say. Cut to the principal's office. Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. <laughs> uh, <laughs> principal. I just, I can't even look at you, Jerry. <laughs> oh, principal Horndecker. <laughs> you know, what did you say? Wait, well, first say of all, again? Principal Jerry. Horndecker. I'm not. That's right. I'm not really Jerry. I'm friends with Jerry. I'm Jimbo. Alrighty. Jerry, do you know why I'm facing away from you? (laughs) Cause you're always ashamed whenever kids get in trouble and you never want to look them in the eye because we don't deserve that that level of respect. (laughs) That's right. You don't get any respect, Jerry. You wanna know why you don't get any respect? (sighs) Why? Because Collapse. Jerry, we found, we found this. We found this. It's an empty bag. It's not just an empty bag, Jerry. What was in this bag, huh? I mean, it. You know, I don't think I have to answer that. I'm gonna take the Fifth Amendment. So you're pleading guilty. <laughs> no, that's not what that means. Fifth Amendment. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just really, I'm emotional from this because I really want to look at you, Jerry. I haven't seen you in months. But right now, officer, uh, who did we hire? Who did we hire, Jerry? Uh, Knock. uh, Knock, knock, knock. It's me, Officer Thornberry. (laughs) Uh, I have to answer the door, Jerry. Hold on. (laughs) Okay. I can't look at you. <laughs> okay. I'll, I just, I, do you I want me to leave you. so you can answer the door? <laughs> what? You just left? Jerry, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for taking it. Oh. What's what's going on here? I I knocked on the principal's door, but then like I didn't see him like he like vanished. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I oh um hey. <laughs> What what hey. tomfoolery are you pulling on me? Do you remember? I'm Jerry. I'm um, Mrs. Doubtfire's son. Do you remember? She's the head of the PTA. Sometimes, sometimes I remember yeah. that that to be true. Yes. Yeah, you know, she- Mrs. Doubtfire. She mysteriously showed up after the Doubtfire family got divorced. <laughs> I know you were going to say after the doubt fire. <laughs> like, um, well, there was no doubt about the fire. That's why it was in the newspaper. But wait, Professor, what does yeah. that have to... Professor Professor Thornberry. Wait, 
Let me go get Professor Thornberry. The, Professor Thornberry is his father. That's well, I, well, yeah, my dad works here too, and he gave me a job. I'm gonna go. I'm yeah. gonna try to find the. It, let me know if the principal comes back because I all have right, to have a word right. about you to him. All right? if, if Principal Horndecker comes back, we'll let you know. Jerry, okay. I guess good idea with the yeah. the the <laughs> costume. Yeah. But yeah. I guess. Are we just going to wait here? I don't understand. No, I'm going to bust you out, dude. Okay. Yeah. Attention, no. students. We are looking for principal... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what's my note say here? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Horndecker. Horndecker. Oh, we're looking for principal Horndecker. Uh, we haven't been able to spot him. Usually you can tell him really well from the back of his head. But we haven't been able to see him. But we have found an empty Ziploc bag, which is see ha, has not been able to be opened yet. And it belong the context belongs to. Oh my goodness, who are you? There is Wait, a murderer on the Jerry. <laughs> did somebody? Did you put a head out on the Principal Horndecker? We're not going to jail this time. I already have a prior. We're this busting time? out. Oh my. This is this is serious. I didn't know. I was... All right, all right, fine. We'll, we'll bust out. We got to go. Let's we'll go to your house. All right. I'll pretend to be the principal. That's how we'll. That's how. All we'll... right, all right. I'm and I'm just following you, Principal Horndecker. Um, yeah, Principal Horndecker, you're gonna take Dude, me out of school. Just where do you think you and Principal Horndecker are going? Uh, uh, hey, officer. Um. Um, Principal Horndecker is going to um, take me to um, Jerry's house because um, Jerry is a good kid and would be a good influence on me. It's uh, it's after school though. Should should yeah. Prince should the principal be working after school though? Isn't that what it says in the handbook? Where's the no, handbook? Well, since it's after school, the principal can go home too. Yeah. Oh, who would have thought? Yeah. yeah you know. I, I don't know what it was, but there was, there were, I found like some little like specks inside the bag here. And I, I just like wanted to try it out because I had never tried it out before. And right now, I think I'm going to go revitalize the mural in the gymnasium. Have a good rest of your day. Jeremy. Okay. Yeah. Sure thing, officer. I don't know what revitalize the bureau means. <laughs> that sounds, hey, okay. oh, I know. Keep going. Keep going. What? That was close. Yeah. I think you did it. Oh, right. Yeah. What does revitalize the mural mean? No, we got to got No, I think we're safe. Okay. I think we're safe. I think. I okay. Think so, so we're what? We're, we're in the parking lot. Yeah. Hey, uh, you remember me? Um, you you asked me to put up the hit. I put up the hit. Thank you, uh, thank you, Billy. Thank you for all of your wonderful work. That's right, Billy, Billy my, the hitter. This is my friend, not the quitter, the hitter. <laughs> two for two. Um, Boo! Here's your cash. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you for my. <laughs> Wait. Yes, thank you for my cash. Yes, I know. I see your cash coming my way, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Whoa! How much? <laughs> Whoa! That was a lot of dollars. <laughs> I guess you can't now, ask for it listen, back. Since we know I don't come cheap. Uh, uh, just want to let you know, I've um, I got the principal in the trunk of my car. You want to see him? No. You, should... you don't want to see the principal? No, I do. I let do. Me show I do. You, let me show you the principal Wait. real quick. I Here, do. Yourself. I want to see that. Look in, at this. Look at this. I want to see it. You're in trouble, Jerry. <laughs> Wait. Jerry. I've, we've done this. That looks like him. Principal? Uh, oh. He's still Jerry, alive. Is that you? The, um, clink. Shut the car door. Oh. No, you slammed the car door. Yeah. <laughs> trunk door on him. Oh, Billy. this is Jerry's my Jerry's friend Jimbo. J I mean Jimbo, can you kick the door? Kick, kick the, kick the <laughs> car. Okay. Kick the car. Right. 
silence Kick the car <laughs> yeah <laughs> shut him up <laughs> I don't want to be an accessory to murder. You are an accessory at this. No, point. absolutely. Well, first off, why are you asking Billy to hold the marijuana in the first place? Um, because I didn't think of that. Well, <laughs> you great. Have a much better idea. All right, fine. Now we're in this. Now we're in this. You're on the Excuse one who actually. I, I was just. I was walking. I was. I was walking out of the grocery store. The, Maybe a Walgreens, not sure. Uh, but I was walking out <laughs> and I saw the back of this car yeah. going like mm-hmm. that, like like yeah. they did in the 80s. Yeah. And is someone trapped in that trunk, do you think? Should I call the authorities? No. Well, you two yeah, kids we... were just standing right by there trying to... Jim, Jerry ca- uh, uh, um, catches hostage. Oh, um, no. <laughs> Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Up. You know what's good for you. You get out of here right now, Mofo. <laughs> Run right away, we're, little fucker. We're gonna, we're, I'm sure there were much more subtle ways to have handled that. All right, but fine. We, we got to get out of here. All right. Okay. Your friend Billy needs to get rid of that car yeah. and body. Yeah. We did never speak about this ever again. Hey, hey, you hear my name? Billy. Yeah, uh, you need to like drive the body like way out of here and like. You can't drive a body, bro. You can drive a car. You can drive a okay. boat. You know you what I meant. Body. You 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 know what I meant. The the car with the body. No, why don't you explain it to me? Why don't you explain it to me, Mister Smart Guy? Drive well, the body where? Yeah. Well, how am I going to you know, start this body? How you guys? The body? I don't know. Uh oh. Oh man. Uh oh. Listen. Oh, no. Listen. Don't make me get my other my other teammates out here. Look, all right. I will cross ventilate you. Cr- cross ventilate. You know how they rejuvenated the mural? I yeah. cross ventilate you. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Did you, the, did you see how the mural mural looks now, Billy? I. I did. It was very rejuvenated. Oh. Yeah, I really. What do you mean? Because I've really had Panther spirit before. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I've got the guy. I've got the guy for the job. Let's get him in here. All right. Let's bring him the goat. Woo! Bring him goat. The goat. Bring him in. Bring him in here. He's gonna tell you how we can drive a body home. Let's bring him the goat. Come on, goat. Get on in here. We'll catch you kids later. That's goat. Sheep time. Wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm really confused here. I don't. Oh, this oh my a- god. It's a, maybe. Oh wait. So we're saying the goat's gonna eat the body? Hey, hey, you guys, you looking? Uh, you looking to get rid of a body? Yeah. Uh, well, Jesus, lucky for cows. you. You know how? Uh, you know how cows got like four stomachs? Mm-hmm. Goats got one, so oh, I can oh. eat a whole body. Wow. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. I see the logic in that. Now I get where you're going. Going. Yeah. Down. You could put it all in your stomach. Yeah, because it's a big stomach. Four cows just got really. It, they really they have the same size as stomach, but it's four of them. All right. You know, so it's harder to digest bodies. So you don't want a cow to take care of this job. You want it to be a goat. Uh oh, we got right. a suspect. We we got we got potential issues coming up, guys. Potential issues. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is that a goat? Yeah, it's a, it was a goat. Is that a goat? No, it is a goat. Yeah, it's officer, goat. it's a goat. You know what I was told? I was told that goats don't have four stomachs. That only is with cows. Is that true? You're right. Uh... It's strange. I thought that goat was saying more than just one syllable the other day. Weird. 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 No, I think... You've been rejuvenating the mural too hard. So you would not believe this. I, yes, correct. It was rejuvenating. I came across the trunk of a car, just a little mm-hmm. ajar. The trunk of a car, yeah. a little ajar. Yeah. And guess who was inside that trunk? Oh, I don't know. Who could possibly have been inside that? The principal. I found the principal. Anyway, my father no. promoted me to uh, adjunct, whatever that means. You, your father promoted you. <laughs> Not promoted me, promoted me. Hey guys, um, uh, this is my goat. I'm Eliza Thornberry. 
um, middle name callback. And mm-hmm. I want to, I, <laughs> I kind of like speak to goats. And so if this is the answer to the crime, like I'm your gal. This is, wait, you're, but you're, <laughs> it's, I don't want to spoil anything, but you, it, your dad's missing. <laughs> what? Okay, Cut I'm to the a- principal's office. Cut to the principal's office and bring everybody there. Yeah. Uh, I just... Uh, <laughs> what I've been through, Jer Bear. What <laughs> I have been through. Yeah, no, it's... You know, again, I'm heard, Jimbo. You're Jimbo? Yeah, you I sure wasn't Jerry. Sure Jerry... Jerry... Me. Jerry's here, but if you're ensuring to me, Jimbo, I'm not Jerry. Anyway, let's not get hung up on that. I'm no, sorry. My main thing is, there was this very curious creature that came over to the trunk of the car mm-hmm. where I was sort of incapacitated at. I needed some rejuvenation from the mural. And mm-hmm. what I can only describe as a beast that only has one stomach saved my life. You know yeah, you no, are. it it was funny. We thought the goat was going to eat you, but the goat, goat was has friendly. What's the goat? No, the goat is throwing the beer. And just for that, just for that, Jimbo, Himbo, I'm going to give you this back. Bad goat. Oh. Well, it's you know Jerry, so Jerry, you could take it. Okay, so I, yeah. No, yep. Take it. Got it? No, got, got it. it. Got it. I'm giving it to you. Here it Thank is. You. It's in your hands. Here we go. So uh, I was looking for a, uh, looking through the uh, directory, the student directory for a valedictorian. What do you, you say? Were, you were. I, I I thought that was earned through grades, not just selected by the principal. But you know, if it makes, I think it'd be a great do way. A little bit differently here at this school. <laughs> no, I think it's a great way after this whole little trying to murder you incident. The bygone. What did you say? Wait, what'd you say? Well, that's why you were in the trunk of a car. Really? You know that kid, you know that kid Billy? I've heard of Billy, yeah. I heard of Billy. Billy did it. Billy tried to kill you. He did what now? He was that's why you're in the trunk of the car. He put you in the trunk he, in the trunk uh, of the car because he thought he was gonna kill you. But the goat saved you. I gotta adopt the goat then. Was that, this, I gotta um... get a bodyguard, adopt the goat bodyguard. That's what I gotta get. Was this a Billy the kid? I mean, Billy was a kid, so it, it was Billy, certainly Billy a kid. A kid but he is what we like to refer as a super senior here at this establishment. I mean, was it like Billy the kid to answer your question? It no, was the, well, no, no. The, the question I have is less about whether it's, it's mm. Billy the kid versus a kid. But <laughs> I think it's interesting uh, that uh, the, this conundrum involves a goat, mm-hmm. and goats yeah. are called kids. Are you Sherlock Holmes? I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> what is your opinion on stuff that comes out of the butt? <laughs> <laughs> I, have not, I have not a single clue why you would bring proctology. Wow. To that. I that's, did. <laughs> that's a- that's, that's really weird, ball, uh, Principal really Horndecker. I don't understand. Back to a private yeah, Zoom meeting that I recall no from a long time ago that no people here were in attendance of. Wait, there has been a murder, and only Sherlock Holmes, the proctologist, can solve it. Principal, I don't understand how Billy the Kid tried to kill you. <laughs> that we need to call a proctologist. We need to call a proctologist because he's hiding the evidence up his butt. Up his, so Billy has the evidence of your attempted murder up his butt. I'm just saying, where was the murder weapon? We don't see it, right? Well, I think you better call Billy in here. I think we should call him in here, too. Hold on. Oh, I, I dropped the pencil. Oh, well, I was I was going to go get Billy, Billy, but it... Uh, we, uh, oh. we, got a, we got a problem here? Everything all right? Yeah, everything's great. How are you? I'm Billy, in case anybody was suspicious of my identity. It is confusing because you're only Billy A kid instead of Billy V kid, so it's it's uh, it's important to be specific. It's great. You know? Um, well, I'm going to finish up the job here, and um, 
Hold on one second. Wait, Billy, what's what's going? Is there something? Sometimes up here you just it? gotta poison somebody with duo cement. <laughs> duo oh, <wow>. cement <laughs> for those hard to reach places to make it even harder to reach. Duo. Right. Are we all extras in a commercial right now? Yeah. Is that what's happening? That, that's what our set was brought to you by. <laughs> brought to you by Duo Crazy Glue. Duo Crazy Glue. <laughs> like I said, for those hard to reach places that make it even harder to reach. Duo cement. I, make it, I don't know if I'm quite understanding those hard to reach places that make it even harder to are, hard, the glue, I think Billy's uh, stalling because he doesn't want to confess to the attempted murder of principal. Oh. All right, I did it. All right. I, I tried to kill the principal. And it wasn't as rejuvenating as it was when I saw that mural being rejuvenated. All right, that's a nice and mural. It, it is a mural. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and that's our show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 